Hey everybody, and welcome back to Living Between Paychecks Kitchen. I'm Oz, Jack and Lady of Stone Lake Jackson, and he was behind the camera. He's here to bitch at me about how I treat his knives on screen, and my finger safety. He's the safety guy for the show. Uh, he got labeled with that just now. This one's coming from TikTok. This is a recipe that we really asked for. This is Hestia 1178. Thank you very much for this. We're going to try it. We're going to try it and put a little more Texas in it, because we're broken. We can do that. But <laughs> this is your recipe. We're going to break down what you show us what to do and how we do it. My dishwasher is going because I have to have plates and stuff for this. And before I get into it, be sure to like, share, subscribe, do all the YouTube stuff, ring the little bell so you get updates when we do these on Tuesdays and Fridays. Check our link down in the doobly-doo for our merch, which we very much appreciate it. And let's get into it. Food. Stupid dishwasher making me sound stupid. Food. Okay, uh, this is kind of what we're told. We added some stuff. So you're going to need a pound of beef. Uh, I got the 73%, so we're going to have to drain the grease out of that. Uh, two cans of Rotel. Now, we got the Rotel with the green chilies because Texas. Uh, and uh, some cheese. Now, I just said some cheese. I prefer the sharp cheddar, especially with my beef stuff, so that's what I grabbed there. And it said rice. Uh, no other kind of rice. So we're going to try this microwave stuff because it was, like, dirt cheap and on sale for, like, 30 cents. But, uh, yeah, I, apparently you can do it with just regular rice, but... That's all we were told we needed. I'm going to add some of these crispy jalapenos because uh, I found them in like HEB or something. And they were amazing on like a regular salad. So I'm going to put them in here. As for seasoning, I got some garlic powder, salt and pepper. Uh, that's all to your you know, your own taste palate. Uh, some seasoned salt to slap your mom is the best stuff because we're next to Louisiana. We try to use their stuff better than them. So it gets you a decent skillet. Turn it up to medium, medium high. Uh, you're going to let it start eating. Uh, now you want this... Uh, beef to be thawed now you can do it while it's still frozen get out your uh, kitchen's little helpers here it's my scissors best thing to get this chub cut loose uh if you get it frozen you're gonna have to keep turning it and peeling it off as it thaws and cooks and sometimes you can overcook it so just if you leave it thawed that's fine uh, get you a speculator and then just kind of smack it around put all the greasy parts uh, down on the meat now uh cook this until it's brown uh smack it because you know it's been bad meat <laughs> but break it down as much as you can. You want to start browning it now. You see how much grease is in here? That's at 73%. Like, this is the cheap stuff because we're eating cheap. Uh, be sure to uh, keep knocking around and put all the pink stuff down on the metal and let it cook. We get it nice and browned all over or as close to brown as possible. Go ahead and drain that grease. Now, how you do that, it's up to you and your HOA. Now, uh, the rice, apparently you can just sprinkle the normal in rice. I don't trust it. I'm just following the instructions on the back of the microwave stuff, which is just open and nuke for a minute. So, uh, go ahead and uh, put your Rotel, or Rotel with green chilies, directly in the meat. This is going to start smelling awesome right about now. Uh, stir it around. Again, you might want to put it at medium, medium, low. You don't want to overcook your meat stuff, but you want to heat up and cook your tomatoes. Most of the time they've been steamed because they've been sealed in the thing to fight botulism, so you don't have to do much to them besides heat them up. But this is starting to smell just great. So I went ahead and turned it down to like a medium, low. Not necessarily a simmer, but still low. Now, my rice came out. It took a minute to nuke, or a minute and a half, 90 seconds, I think, and just put it right on top. Now this looks great, like it's, I could get this at any kind of uh, uh, taqueria around here, It'll be on the plate looking like this, like this, and it smells outstanding. Uh, I've never put it together this way. It feels like it's this close to like chili, like you add some water and some more seasonings, no beans, and you get chili, but this is actually really good. This has probably got a name somewhere, people have been cooking it for eons. I went ahead and turned my heat almost all the way down to a simmer and then added cheese. Cheese is optional. All right, and your seasoning can go in right about now as well because uh, you don't want to overcook that stuff because your pepper can burn, as I learned from Andy. Uh, Got to get the exact right amount of cheese <laughs> put in there. Uh, put it in there, eat just a little bit because you're a chef and that's your chef's tax. And then turn this over a little bit, fold it, I guess, as the rich people say. And that just the residual heat in the meat that's been cooking will start to melt that cheese. As soon as it starts to melt, go ahead and kill the heat. All right, see, whoop, just reach and just turn it off, remove it from heat, and that's good. Smack it a little bit, because apparently it's going to be a good meat thing. Careful of the burner, because that's still hot, so be careful. Uh, I'm almost missing some stuff. Now, I'll put some of these uh, jalapenos on it, because this was so under our budget, I had extra stuff. And I tried these, like I said, on a salad, and it was good. And it added a little more texture 
to it other than just a mouthful of whatever. But this was great. This you know, it tastes really good. Is well under our budget. It made enough to feed you know four to six people, depending on if you put anything next to it or on the side of it. Um, it was relatively easy to make. The longest part was browning the meat, which was like five to eight minutes, depending on your altitude and your oven temperature or stove top temperature. Sorry. Uh, but this is good stuff, man. Y'all should really try this out. Like I said, this, uh, if you leave the, the jalapenos out of it, this is great for like a meal prep thing, set it apart, put it in the freezer, freeze it, nuke it, whatever. Again, shout out to Hestia 1170 something. I forgot the numbers <laughs> and I don't know what the heck to call this, but again, shout out to you. Thank you very much for giving us your recipe over on TikTok. I'm going to try to tag you in the thing over there, but this is amazing. Y'all should definitely, definitely try this one. I'm going to get up here so you can hear what I'm saying over the dishwasher. And there you have it, folks. Uh, I don't even know what the hell they call that. We, uh, uh, rice and tomato burger stuff with cheese. Yeah, that flows off the tongue as naturally as chewing gravel. Uh, but it's really great. Again, shout out to Hestia1178 over on TikTok. We asked for recipes. You gave it to us. I hope we did it right. If we didn't, let us know. We'll revisit this. If you guys do it differently, want to see us do it differently, want to see us revisit it, let us know. Put it down in the comments. That's what they're there for. You can also find us on social media. Let us know over there. We're on Facebook, Pinterest, Patreon. We're at all those at Living Between Pages. HX Kitchen. You can also find us on Instagram at Live Between. We had to shorten that down a little bit. And I'm over on TikTok under my actual name, Osway Nerdy, which is yes, my actual name, I swear. Get up. So, <laughs> I'll see you next time. I'm going to go eat some more of this rice stuff. It's going to be great. And I'll see y'all next time.